Lesson 197 in the Course in Miracles It can be but my gratitude I earn. Here is the second step we take to free your mind from the belief in outside force pitted against your own. You make attempts at kindness and forgiveness, yet you turn them to attack again unless you find external gratitude and lavish thanks. Your gifts must be received with honour, lest they be withdrawn, and so you think God's gifts are loans at best, at worst deceptions, which would cheat you of defences to ensure that when he strikes, he will not fail to kill. How easily are God and guilt confused by those who know not what their thoughts can do. Deny your strength and weakness must become salvation to you. See yourself as bound and bars become your home. Nor will you leave the prison house or claim your strength until guilt and salvation are not seen as one and freedom and salvation are perceived as joined with strength beside them to be sought and claimed and found and fully recognized. The world must thank you when you offer it release from your illusions. Yet your thanks belong to you as well, for its release can only mirror yours. Your gratitude is all your gifts require, that they be the lasting offerings of a thankful heart released from hell forever. Is it this you would undo by taking back your gifts because they were not honoured? It is you who honour them and give them fitting thanks, for it is you who have received the gifts. It does not matter if another thinks your gifts unworthy, in his mind there is a part that joins with yours in thanking you. It does not matter if your gifts seem lost and ineffectual. They are received where they are given. In your gratitude are they accepted universally and thankfully acknowledged by the heart of God himself. And would you take them back when he has gratefully accepted them? God blesses every gift you give to him, and every gift is given him because it can be given only to yourself, and what belongs to God must be his own. Yet you will never realize his gifts are sure, eternal, changeless, limitless, forever giving out, extending love and adding to your never-ending joy, while you forgive but to attack again. Withdraw the gifts you give, and you will think that what is given you has been withdrawn. But learn to let forgiveness take away the sins you think you see outside yourself. And you can never think the gifts of God are lent but for a little while before he snatches them away again in death, for death will have no meaning for you then. And with the end of this belief is fear forever over. Thank yourself for this. For he is grateful only unto God, and he gives thanks for you unto himself. To everyone who lives will Christ yet come, for everyone must live and breathe in him. His being in his Father is secure, because their will is one. Their gratitude to all they have created has no end, for gratitude remains a part of love. Thanks be to you, the Holy Son of God, for as you were created, you contain all things within yourself. And you are still as God created you, nor can you dim the light of your perfection. In your heart, the heart of God is laid. He holds you dear because you are himself. All gratitude belongs to you because of what you are. Give thanks as you receive it. Be you free of all ingratitude to anyone who makes yourself complete. And from this self is no one left outside. Give thanks for all the countless channels which extend this self. All that you do is given unto him. All that you think can only be his thoughts, sharing with him 
the holy thoughts of God. Earn now the gratitude you have denied yourself when you forgot the function God has given you, but never think that he has ever ceased to offer thanks to you. Close your eyes upon the world. It can be, but my gratitude I earn. You would share of your heart freely today, because you do not need the world, the forms, the beings to offer you lavish thanks for your gifts to them. They are thanking you, but don't expect the form to completely reflect your state of being. It will be reflected in you. You will feel it. You will know it to be true. You do not need your eyes to look upon love, to view it, to see it, to know that it is there. It is there. It can be but my gratitude I earn. You are not bound by this body, by this world, by your life in form. Why then would you need to confirm yourself through thanks of the world? Within you is love, strength, peace and joy. Guilt and salvation and strength are not the same. You would accept your reality today and release the idea that guilt and desiring something from the world to give you something can get you anything other than pain. From the endless wells of peace and joy within you would give and receive gladly. But you know that you have everything and you are everything. So guilt is unnecessary. It is but my gratitude I earn. Thank you. 
world must thank you when you offer it release from your illusions. Yet your thanks belong to you as well, for its release can only mirror yours. Your gratitude is all your gifts require, that they be the lasting offerings of a thankful heart, released from hell. And each time you give something to a brother, and expect something in return, and don't receive what you thought was equal in measure, you prevent yourself from experiencing salvation. You prevent yourself from receiving the gifts of love. When you truly love and give of your heart, you know that there is no need to see a reflection in the world. You feel it, you know it. The real world shows you that beyond this world, beyond the physical senses, there is the world that's showing you it is grateful. Don't expect it from the physical forms. Don't expect it from anything that your physical senses tell you. But you will know that this is true. Can be but my gratitude I earn. Maybe in this moment you offer a gift of peace and joy to your brother, but it is not accepted. But it will be received. Give it to spirit and know that it will be received at some point. But you giving to another their release, their freedom. Not to hold it as a gift. If you give something to receive it back, it's an imprisonment, not a gift. You would give freely, that you may receive freely from spirit, tenfold, a hundredfold, in whatever form, in whatever way that is most helpful for your awakening. It can be but my gratitude I earn. Thank you. 
gratitude the light of heaven is accepted universally and thankfully acknowledged by the heart of God himself and would you take your gratitude back when God himself has gratefully accepted them he's gratefully accepted your blessing on the world and he blesses every gift you give to him and every gift is given him as it is also given to you, so you give but to yourself. Why would you need to see the reflection if you give it to yourself? You give the love, you extend it, and therefore keep it. The more you extend, the more you love, the more you keep. You give to God, you give to yourself, you give to everyone by expanding that love in a never-ending cycle of extending love why would you want to give attack because you didn't receive your gifts back from the world of illusion delusion of hell it can be but my gratitude I earn everyone who lives will Christ yet come for everyone must live and breathe in him in God in perfection your true being is safe in your father secure your will is one with your father your true will of yourself capital self your gratitude to all is kept within your holy mind with no end a part of love forever thanks be to you the holy son of God for as you were created you contain all things within yourself and you are still as God created you nor can you dim the light of your perfection in your heart the heart of God is laid he holds you dear because you are himself all gratitude belongs to you because of what you are give thanks as you receive it be you free of all ingratitude to anyone who makes yourself complete everyone you see experience every brother behind the form completes you 
their being completes what you are would you rather be resentful because they didn't fulfill your egoic roles or grateful to remember who you are in them beyond the words, beyond the form beyond anything that your physical senses can tell you Give thanks for all the countless channels which extend this self, your capital self, your true self, everyone. All that you do is given unto him. Every encounter, every meeting, you can remember who you are through your brother by remembering who they are. It is but your gratitude you earn. Today, with everyone you meet, with every different experience or thought or person, anything, remember it is a holy encounter. You share the holy mind of God. Be grateful. Gratitude is not denied you. It is your function to remember God and yourself. God will forever give thanks for what you are eternally it is but my gratitude I earn
Thank you.